Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about batoning wood. I know we've all seen it, and it's usually the first thing that uh, bushcrafters or survivalists start learning is how to how to baton their wood down uh, for making their fires and stuff. And there's some do's and some don'ts in that world. Um, today I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. Um, a safer way to do it because safety comes first in bushcraft, survival, primitive living, anything, you know, outdoors, even just regular camping. You want to be safe. You want everybody to have fun, enjoyable, make memories. Um, so let's get into this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the majority of the time what you're going to see in batoning when, when you're seeing uh, YouTube shorts or Facebook reels or Instagram posts or whatever um, You'll start off with a solid base foundation. You're not going to do this on the ground and the mud and the dirt um, But what you'll see guys do is take their piece that they want to baton set it down on their on their uh, solid foundation and then they're going to do something like set their blade up here you know and they're gonna try to hack it to stick it but don't do that because that is very dangerous always use a, a stick up here if you're gonna do it this way and then what you'll see is they'll come up here and start beating uh, trying to split this wood down to smaller pieces um, a much easier way to do that and a much safer way to do that is take your wood and take your blade of whatever you know it doesn't matter if you're using your your hatchet or, or your kukri or whatever lay the blade on the wood handle touching blade touching and just hold that up there and you can see I never left I never brought the blade off of the wood and struck it I let the weight of the tool do everything your hatchet same way find a good flat surface lay it down touch your handle grasp them together your fingers are nowhere near the blade and you let the weight of the tool do the work And that's split and you can split it again you know depending on how far down you want this split you can start splitting off much smaller pieces but that's a lot better than you know up here trying to hack on the top and accidentally hit your hand um, it's better than trying to hold your blade up here and whack it with a stick now there comes times when you do have to do that method um, but that's only you know the only time I recommend doing it that way is if you you don't have a good heavy tool you know if I was trying to baton with a small knife um, then you know I would say come up here and start doing your batoning this way but uh, if you if you have a proper batoning tool let the tool do the work um, 
you lose a lot less calories and, and energy and, and everything if you just let the tool do the work. I mean, that's what we have tools for. They work for us. You shouldn't wear yourself out. It's that simple. So, uh, keep that in mind when you're out, you know, uh, at camp, practicing bushcraft, practicing survival, any of that, um, safety comes first. Don't cut a finger or a hand or, or injure yourself. Don't wear yourself out. Let the tools do the work for you, you know. Work uh, smarter, not harder. That's the way I look at it. If a tool is going to do something for you safely and effectively, go for it. But like I say, there is times when you have to do the traditional, what they call uh, batoning with your blade. If your blade's too small, too light, Obviously, it's not going to have the momentum when you or momentum when you come down, um, so it's not going to baton your wood for you. Um, that's when it's time to do the old traditional way. That's kind of dangerous, and a lot of people's been hurt trying to learn that method. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't practice it. You should uh, survival, bushcraft, emergency stuff should always be practice all techniques and, and ways to do it but don't forget to bring in new safer ways to uh, practice as well all right guys remember it's not what you can spend or how much you can spend it's about the memories you make <laughs>